Um, I really don't want this video focused on me, so I'm going to zoom about right there. So you must see Barbie. Um, <clears throat> no, this is not her original dress. It's one that I made. Um, but this is a crystal Barbie. I, I bought her eBay or um, an antique shop. She has really thick hair, which is really shocking because most of these Barbies don't have hair this thick. The problem with her is, for me, it's not long enough for, like, hair play. Okay, so normally I like to have much longer hair play. Aside from that, I probably have about six crystal Barbie dolls, maybe seven. So that's not a big issue for me. Um, this particular crystal Barbie, if you notice, they did her eyebrows, the forehead shape, the lip color is very similar to Dream Date Barbie. So they did a lot of stuff like that back in the 80s, but the eyes are definitely more like Crystal Barbie. And the earrings and things like that. So first things first, I take out her earrings. I have a styrofoam plate with little sections so I can set her jewelry in one of these little pockets. And then I'm gently going to squeeze her head and remove it. Um, comes right off with no problem. So... She's got all her original jewelry. I mean, if you can look, there's no wear on the arm. So you can tell I bought her pretty much new in a box. It's all right, Sabrina. I understand everyone has got a lot of stuff, sweetheart. For people that join, you really don't have to apologize if you're not able to catch a video. Um, Crystal Barbie's hair was a platinum blonde. Saran hair fades over time, and it's turned into more of a champagne blonde. But as you can see, it's still silky looking. Um, also, to update tools you will need, scissors, like little scissors, a pair of tweezers, um, also your hair. I have two shades. I'm using two different colors. I'm using Snow White. Yep, Snow White number 93. I'm getting a large. Usually two of these, which is one order. One order of these comes with two packs of this, and that is plenty of hair to redo your Barbie doll. Okay. I'm reading. Hi, Vanessa, honey. Good morning. And so, yes, Sabrina, you're all right, honey. I understand you at the work. It's okay. Good morning, um, Lucian. I think it's still morning. I mean, morning. <laughs> I'm thinking of morning and money. That's and that's something. Hi, JC. So I'm using this platinum blonde. Um, I'm going to be using, I've already cut it. The hair comes in a round loop. You just snip, cut, and there you go. Um, I already have some Snow White hair here that's already been, everything's been pre-cut and prepared. So I'm doing a mixture of these two colors for this Crystal Barbie. Because I already have a Crystal Barbie that's fully rerouted with the Snow White hair. Oh, it's evening there. Um, now, to show you the doll that I just posted photos of, her, I just got to rerouting her this morning. Um, I actually ended up using a little bit more than two packs of hair. Unfortunately, I have a thing my dolls in that was super thick hair. It just happens. This is, as you all know, the Beach Barbie dolls have several different face screenings. This one is the newest one. Same Barbie doll. Slightly different facial screening. Um, this one has the pixelated. She has a pixelated face, but her eyes are even and she's very beautiful. So I finished up her rooting. Everything was done this morning. I used a glue gun with a specific type of glue. One that's mildew proof and all that good stuff because I like to pack that glue down and twist around and make sure I get all of the hair so I can brush and have all my hair play. Because I don't like no ball headed Barbie or doll and I like gorgeous, super thick hair. Now, the body, she is a rebody doll. This is the basketball playing Barbie that has the made to move body. The basketball one, she has brunette hair, a beautiful face, face. Um, but her body is 12 inches tall. So to show you the difference between a regular, like Barbie extra body, even with little heels on, you see the difference in height. 
So as you see the difference in height, um, this body makes her just tall, which is what he's serving. This tall is already on her tiptoes, as you can see. So that's how come I have this one on her tiptoes as well to show the difference in accuracy of the height. Yep, much better. And plus this body is articulated underneath the breastplate here. So she has articulation there and the body is fully articulated with everything else. So I call her sort of like a updated Cali girl Barbie, Barbie extra if you will, with the super long platinum hair. This is snow white hair. It goes excellent with dolls, but it's suntan and colored eyes. Um, it'd be a great one to create a custom X-Men Storm doll. So right now what I'm going to do, um, yes, yes, Amber, yes. This Barbie had the molded pink painted swimsuit with little flowers on it. But look at the new ones. The new ones have an updated face with the pixelated look. So basically this Barbie, Beach Barbie, is entering her third year of the same Beach Barbie doll being produced. That's how they used to do Barbie. What I was told back in the 70s and 80s, certain dolls would be on store shelves for two and three years. So this Barbie's on her way to being in production on store shelves for three years. So we're going to say goodbye to Crystal Barbie's original hair, which is beautiful and thick, but I like hair play and she's not giving me that. I'm really shocked that the more nude looking lip color because the other crystal barbies have pink lips more purple eyeshadow and this one's in between crystal barbie and again dream date so i'm taking these little scissors and i'm cutting her hair as close to her vinyl scalp as possible yes her hair has um faded but it's beautiful it's still silky the only thing is i like um i have several of these so i have some that i keep original i have one that's pristine perfect in her box never open i think i did open her to make sure her hair was set perfectly and excellent for display but i have quite a few crystal barbies um only because of i went to a doll show and this woman had a huge huge box of older Barbies and they were all a dollar a piece and I ended up with a hundred of them um, and that's been maybe seven years ago but every now and then I find some at a thrift shop I mean you can see the hair it's, it was beautiful but um, I wanted to change her hairline because she got a big forehead. So I don't want a forehead to be quite as big. So I'm also going to show you how to work with that. Let me take the camera down as much as possible. And we're going to zoom in some more. Okay, I'm not trying to do that, but you know what I'm doing. You will need two different tools. Um, I had to make mine myself. Here they are. This tool I found in the mountains at Walmart, and apparently you can find it online. It has those little pivot, like an X, where you unscrew it. This is a very big needle I use for large dolls for rerouting or adding more hair and this is typically the one i use for barbie um very simple a simple needle you clip the tip off and that's okay so i use two the reason why i use two is because usually i use the bigger one when it comes to um when i'm done i put the glue on the head and I use the bigger one to twist. Hi, Crystal. Oh, inside her, what got me was that her hair seemed so thick. It seemed really thick. And then 
as I went picking through our head, looking through it last night and this morning, debating, okay, am I really going to reroute this one or not? I said, yes, I'm going to reroute her. Um, she, her hair looks baldy right here in the center. Oh, thank you, um, Pink Bunny. She is gorgeous. Um, so, I don't know. I think they put, like, a lot of hair into one each one of the plugs where they rooted our hair. Okay. Well, I was going to use... I'll show you. Okay, now I do like this. I'm going in. You got to do this gently so you do not punch a hole into your doll's head. Oh, my God. I'm breaking out in a sweat. Are you serious? I have nothing to have be anxious about. See what I mean? See what happened? That's where they used a big hole um, to fill her hair. That was a big hair plug. So what they did was, wait a minute. They, when they sealed the top, they didn't do it all the way correctly. Huh. Does this mean I'm going to put some glue and squish this down? Nah, easy. I'm going to fill it up with hair and that'll make it, that'll make it right. So you can see there, there's no hair up there. Oh, wow. It's a number... Zero one or a D one appear on the top of her head. Oh my God, Amber, a flattened screwdriver, girl. Not, oh, honey, I'm not messing with you. I don't recommend a screwdriver on Barbies that, that have this age. Okay. I really don't recommend that. Oh, she has a painted line that goes across here. That's actually paint. And they should have made it lower because they gave her a big forehead. Someone's sawing a tree. So if you hear that noise, it sounds um, like something else. Oh my God, I'm breaking out in a sweat. <clears throat> Sorry, I do apologize. I haven't had my anxiety medication this morning. And that's why. And I needed to do a video that was doll related, but also showing what I'm doing to keep myself busy during a difficult time for me, mentally and emotionally. Oh no, I am not going to be rooting. I, I, I'm not rebooting a Rainbow High doll. I'm not repainting a rainbow high doll or anything like that. Now, I do want to change the lips on my Rose Roseland doll from yesterday because she doesn't have enough color. I like shimmer. I love the way the dolls have shimmer on them. But that's another video. And I don't know when I would do that. Because right now I have her sitting over there with her friends. And she's relaxing. Okay, we almost got all the hair. Oh, wow. So what they did was give her a lot of hair all around the hairline. I'm seeing like five different rows bunched together pretty much. So they made her hair really thick around the hairline, um, especially in the back, um, and then right in this section. So they just did thicker hair in certain areas. Wow, I'm surprised top of her head didn't come off from the hair brushing. Whew. 
Okay, almost done. There we go. So, there we go. Crystal Barbie's hair has now pretty much all been pulled out of her head. Cut off and poured inside of her head. And then we pull it out. That's why you need your tweezers. Um, the hair is actually slightly lighter on the inside. I don't, my other Crystal Barbie had a smaller head than this one. This one's got a bigger head. I'm gonna be honest. I think that um, they took some Crystal Barbies and Dream Day Barbies and gave them the same facial screening because she has these arched eyebrows like Dream Day Barbie. Both of them had purple eyes. Um, Dream Day Barbie had more natural lip, but this one had the hairstyle of Crystal Barbie. So that's a lot of stuff to pull out of her head. You know, they do. I found three variations of Crystal Barbie, and I have all of them. I have three variations. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. I'll look at her body and tell you, because this is one I got in the box. I bought her in the box off eBay several years ago, but I got her empty box in storage with some other, like, Rocker Barbie boxes. I kept some of the boxes because they were perfect condition. And then too, I'll end up putting another doll in the place in the box and use it for, you know, display purposes. Okay, we got all the hair out of our head. Yeah, so you get a good close up. <clears throat> let me see her body. Now, as you, oops, let me take her necklace off so I don't mess it up. You can still see the tape print on the back of her that tells you i mean in up here see there's no intentions or anything so you can see that she was never played with she was kept in unwell she's played with by me taiwan this particular one is from taiwan yep taiwan did, oh wow her joints i didn't never open her arms but they're very tight so this one came from Taiwan. I really love this body on Barbie because I like the shape. You see the figure, how it looks when it's dressed. Um, I like her hourglass shape figure. It's very feminine. It's very close to my own. And I like those feet with the heels. Don't ask me where her shoes are. They're probably with her dress inside her original box. So, and I also like the leg shape. I miss the way Barbie's legs would bend and click like this. I think so too. And this is the body that so many parents complained about. <clears throat> you know, I mean, just crazy people, right? I, and I think it's people who never liked Barbie, never played with Barbie. So yeah, but no, anyway, here she is, you know, like I said, I got her NRFB, never removed from the box. Um, yep, neck is perfect, tight. She was stored very well, whoever owned her before me. But anyway, here we are. We got her all done like this, and now we are ready to give her some new hair. But first, I'm going to change her hairline. So do you see the paint line? They did this to Crystal Barbie. They would give them a, you know, a light brown just a line to give someone an idea of how far up to go. And this is the same hairline that they gave Dream Day Barbie. Well, I'm going to change that. So give me one moment so I can get my, um, I will zoom out. Okay, I'm attempting to, there we go. Okay, so I'll take a minute, then I can read comments. I got lights, two lights shining down. 
Really? I do. I don't know why I like this the older body better. Um, I think it's the pose, the bent arm, the pose, and then the way she could do her poses, and you know she could twist her waist and give you poses like this. And I mean, she was more like a fashion model, like she's doing the runway. Um, to me, I found this body to be perfectly designed. Um, I had no problem with Barbie's chest part. Um, to be honest, she doesn't look too booby. She just looks bulky um, in this area here, but that's because of the way her back is made and also the stomach. So Barbie really was made to be curvy. She wasn't made to be skinny girl because she wasn't. Just her waist was cinched, but with clothing, with her clothes on, it gives you a perfect look with the clothes on, you know? I don't know, I like it. I never had a problem, but then again, I always think that Barbie as a toady Oh my gosh, where are my paints? Where did I put them? Oh, here in the closet. All right, paintbrush. <laughs> okay. So, thank God through the fire, I got to wash that thing out and it got saved. And I've definitely fully restocked on paints. All the ones I had before and I'm looking at this color oh by the way when you're gonna do a reboot or anything like that get comfortable it is very time for me I can do this reboot in three hours maybe two if I'm lucky um, I didn't plan on doing this part but I am since it's there I'm using a brown sable where are q-tips I know I have Q-tips. There's one. So I'm using my acetone to remove the paint off her forehead because I'm going to give her a new hairline. Mm. Yes, I look rough. Because zoom. God, how far did I zoom? Well, you can definitely see the head from way over here. And I'm going to remove the paint line off. Ta -da. See, there it is. It's gone. But do you see how they did Barbie back then? This was actually Barbie was done where this was an open hole. And then once the head part was made, they actually filled this part in, which they did a good job right there. But the rest of it, that's really shady. That is not a good job of topping it off, but they put hair in there which it'll be fine once I give her a head full of hair and then when I pack glue. Now, when I remove my doll, I put glue basically to fill up the whole top part of the head up here, this entire top part. And that's when I use the big rooting tool here. And I'm showing you now because I don't know if I'll show you later or not, but I go in, once the hair is all in, I go in and I'm twisting, I'm twisting like this inside her head in all areas for, and then I'm doing like this to make sure the hot glue gets every bit of the hair that I rooted into her head and then I pack it down so that it fills this entire top part of the Barbie's head so that way it's plenty of room to put her head back on there when it dries and I let it dry at a tilted angle like this so that way it's completely flat and smooth to this area and all of Barbie's Hair is completely permanently bonded. I probably zoomed in a little too far, but I'm about to do a little paint. And that'll show you because I'm really trying to focus on the doll and not myself. On this video, I'm not really trying to show myself. <clears throat> I'm just using this uh, any size brush, doesn't matter. And I'm going to think how I'm going to give her a new hairline. I want to make her hairline smaller. I don't want her forehead to be as big. So, see?
And there are some Crystal Barbies who have this sort of like a pivot, a point that's right up here. My anxiety is really high. Oh, I meant to take that. I meant to handle that a minute ago. Okay, so there we go. There's her new hairline. So that looks more better with her face, right? Does it give her a big forehead? Knock some of that out of the way. So that's how we're going to give her forehead. Um, yep. And I'm not going to worry about sealing this because I'm just using it as a guideline. I did just put the paintbrush in my mouth, put paint on it. <laughs> It's non-toxic. Let me zoom out a little bit. That's just a little too close and it's making it too filtery looking. Okay, so that looks good with Barbie. I think that works great. Jesus. Okay, I can't take it. I can't take the anxiety, so you have to forgive me. I do apologize for the off angle that I'm at. Okay, so now that I've got that done, I need to seal up. Hi, Richard. Oh, it's so good to have you. What time is it in New Zealand? Yeah, making sure. Now you see the hairline, the new hairline? That's much prettier, right? Looks much better. Yeah, it's going to look good. She's going to be absolutely fabulous. Abs fab. Like this show to come in London. Yes, I do have that movie. Yay! Okay. We're gonna start with the smaller needle like this one. Oh, by the way, you will need a spray bottle. I recommend this one, it's small. I got my camera on Zoom. Um, so um, I use Pantene Smooth. Right now Walmart has a special with Pantene Smooth. You get shampoo and conditioner for like uh, four or $5.99. I mix a little Pantene Smooth conditioner in here. With lots of water, I use this on all my dolls. Doesn't matter what doll it is, I will use this on there. It's like a miracle. So this is Platinum Blonde right here of Saran Hair by Cat Silk. I will use that later. For her hairline, we are going Snow White. It is 6.15 a.m. Oh, you poor thing, you never sleep. So this is the Snow White hair. I'm giving her hairline and Snow White. I'm doing a mixture of this and Platinum Blonde. And I'm going to spray it. Okay, I really don't want to spray it um, on here because I'm setting on a bedspread. Great, let me hook up my charger. As always, I'm prepared for years now. Okay, so I'm going to set this like right there. And I'm going to hold the hair in my hand right here. And we're going to spray it. So, yes, this water is going into the floor and shooting everywhere else. All right, I got my brush, Dollar Tree brush. It has little plastic balls that cover the um, tip so it doesn't really damage any doll's hair. It's great for any doll. Um, Exactly. Platinum. Well, this is Snow White. This hair is Snow White hair. Right here. Snow White. So I'm using Snow White um, because it doesn't have that iridescent tint to it in certain lighting. Unless you use a black light. And I'm also using the Platinum Blonde. So we have Snow White and Platinum Blonde side by side. You see the difference. Um, so I, I'm sort of modernizing our hair with some highlights, highlight, low light. <laughs> okay, now we can turn the camera back around. Okay, not that's not what I'm trying to show you. How do we redo this in a different way? <clears throat> I prefer the older bodies as well. Okay, I'm redoing this camera. Yeah, I got the Christmas tree lights on. I'm replacing the camera. Um, uh, 
I'm doing too many things at once. Loose, loose. Too many things at once. And I'm not at what I call my safe place. I need more stability. And so I don't have that. I am looking like a hot mess today. And I look fat, but we know I'm not this size, so it's camera. Mm, so I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to end up zooming. Okay, that works. And come down some more. Okay, about right here. That works for me. This is it. Yeah, that works. In fact, I'm going to go down a little bit more. Okay, here we go. So I wet the hair fiber and I split it up in sections that are small like this. And fix the light where it's going to come straight down more. Okay. Get more comfy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take about, because my last Barbie, this one that I just finished rerouting, has so much hair. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want Crystal Barbie's hair to be this thick, but it looks amazing. She looks great, right? They should bring Cali Girl back. This, because I love these shirts. I wear these kind of t-shirts. Yeah, I like this look. So, whoa, that went dark. Um, this is a reboot of the Beach Barbie. She turned out perfect. I, I only use Saran hair. Now you can see how her part is at the very top. Because Crystal Barbie doesn't really have a part. I could possibly gift her one if I wanted to. Where did I put the hair piece? Um, okay, let's get started. But yeah, I have I've had this crystal barbie with me because I had been debating for the longest time if I was going to reroute her or not. And so I knew I pretty much wanted to reroute her simply because that's why I've had her around me. So I'm starting here where I have the new paint line that comes down. I'm going to start above the ear. Okay, and I'm twisting. I'm twisting because I'm going to pop a hole in her head. Ta-da, it's done. There we go. So we have our first new hole for the hairline. And I pull it up. Well, it's not, y'all. Um, people here will not let my mom be with me. They're, they're being very anal about it. In fact, there was a lot of drama. I already discussed that in another video from yesterday. I'm so not going there again. Okay, so I'm doing my sections of hair. As you see, I'm doubling this. See how I'm doing this? Because the hair is long. There. People who knot the hair, they can knot it. But the thing is, I don't want a doll's head full of knots that can come loose. And then the hair can come out of our head when I brush it. So I'm following my paint line of the new hairline I give her. I'm still doing that. So, great. I'm going to have to bring this here over some. Probably go down. It won't tilt. So I'm having to push it down. So I would rather for you to be able to see it's better. Move the plate. There. You see our head. Perfect. But at the way I'm doing it, once the hair is in looped, and I use a glue gun, and I use glue. Some people are using Arlene's glue. Do not use that crap. Because if you're like me, and you put your dolls in water... Or you wet their hair. If you use Arlene's craft glue, that stuff is going to um, it's going to come back wet. It can become wet again and come loose. Do not use that. I have my glue sticks here. I can show them to you later because this video is 
I've done a full reroute on a Barbie doll before, live. And y'all know this takes hours, so you're probably going to have to go to the bathroom a couple times. And grab you a snack or something to eat, which is understandable. So, as you can see, I'm working on the new hairline that I give her. And I think this is going to look much prettier. Yes, it is a little spaced out because I don't want to rip her head. And also, I'm not worried about it. Because if I do a part or whatever, it's still going to look good. Because that's how they did 80s Barbies. Now, as for this particular Barbie, the one I just rooted, as you can see, that's how her hair is. The hairline, see? Yeah, she's full root. Her hair is still damp. <clears throat> well, that's all right. Tell mom I got a big cup of coffee. I got instant coffee. This here particular one come from Korea. I don't know. I like the flavor. Um, my roommate says that. He said he doesn't like anything from China or over there. He says they kill their own people. I'm not saying that. That's what he says. Okay, so I need to make sure. I need my glasses. No wonder I like fatty. I need to make sure I get the holes at or around the same area. So as you can see, I no, you can't see, but I'm actually here on the other side of the Okay. Dixie's in the corner sleeping. Okay, that's much better. So, see how the holes are coming out? That hair. But the good thing is, if you don't, I'm not making this line permanent because I can just take water and remove the line when I'm done. So, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can see some of the Barbies in the boxes with that hairline. And I, I think, I'm sure I got some with me. I've been debating on Jewel Secrets Barbie. I do have one I rebooted. Oh yeah, that looks good. So, see? Oh my God, Gansitos. <laughs> Crystal, did you like them? You love them, right? They're good, right? Oh my God, freeze them, girl. Put them in the freezer. Make them cold. They are delish. Oh, Brads, thank you. I love all them hearts. You are such a sweetheart. I love you guys. I don't understand why anxiety makes you break out into a sweat. I mean, to be, I think that's a bit severe. Okay, there we go. We're working on this girl's new hairline that she desperately, I love the arch of her eyebrows. You see, I know it looks filtered a bit, but don't worry, it'll pass. So let me shut up talking and just do this. Cause if I don't talk, I can move a lot faster and do a lot more done in less time. And you have to be careful with the 80s Barbie. Some of these got really squishy heads. This particular one has a very squishy head. I'm thinking, I don't think, I do have Superstar Barbie, an original here that I um, did. Oh, thank you, Richard. Y'all are so sweet.
Does by any chance any of you Barbie collectors have 1984 Barbie coloring books that haven't been used because I had one that was damaged in the fire and it was never used and it cost like 15 bucks on eBay. Oh my God. And I, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I think I'm going to end up trying to print out, have copies printed out enlarged well are the ones that I liked but I really like the graphics the ones I don't like the ones they do now okay this is looking much better you know I've had years ago I've had um some men come on that just happened to come across my channels and watch and they, they would see me painting and they told me that they were not dog collectors or anything like that, but they enjoyed watching me work when I painted. They found it to be very relaxing um, and they, they subscribed. But I mean, not because of dolls, but they enjoyed watching my hobby. So we've already got almost half of that, this part done. So see how that's coming along. So because I'm creating a new hole, I'm doing a whole new hairline on this Barbie. Um, that's why I'm twisting to get in. Um, I painted, I did a paint line across to do this. So that gives me my guideline. And so, you know, that's how I'm giving Crystal Barbie her new hairline. This way her forehead is not as big as it was. Because it was just that wasn't a normal size that was just way too big again I'm using Snow White by Cat Silk and I'm also using Platinum Blonde but I'm doing the entire hairline the entire hairline in Snow White I'm just telling you in case you want to try this on one of your maybe you have a um, Crystal Barbie who's had her hair cut or something or fried or whatever damaged and you want to reboot her and you want to try something I said go with a forehead of Snow White it'll look good on her with her crystal dress okay so we're at her peak and now I'm going to start going down the other side But this is why I always say, when it comes to painting or rebooting a doll, get comfortable. It's just best to stay in pajamas and, or take a shower and then put on your pajamas. Just get comfortable. But when creating new holes, you have to twist. Well, this is my way of rerouting. I thought of it myself by simply putting the plugs in and I got a one of those big glue guns and I get a specific type of glue. Do not, there's certain glues that you can use for the glue gun and not all glue is good for this. You have to get, um, believe it or not, the Walmart one is the best. For my style of rebooting Barbie, I can, this year can take me about three hours. Sometimes two and a half. So I have done it in two and a half hours. Oh, she's got a little piece of paint on her floor. But I think I am going to give this particular Barbie a part. And I'm actually going to get her hair be like this. I'm going to do her part like this. So I'm actually going to create a part that comes up through here. Oops, sorry. I'm going to create a part to come up through here. 
So yeah, I am going to give her a part. I think it's going to look good like that. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I'm not rebooting a rainbow high doll. To me, rainbow high dolls are perfect the way they are. Um, yeah, I like them just the way they are. The hair's thick. The faces are beautiful. Um, you know, you can't get any better than that. Articulated, good quality clothing. Okay, I can cut that off now. I had to cut air conditioner on. Here it is, as cool as it is, but unfortunately when you're having anxiety, it's you um can break out sweat like and then like I said, center her back. It just makes life very complicated. As if, I mean, mine isn't complicated enough as it is. So I have to twist because, like I said, I'm making new holes in her head. Crystal Barbie, I don't know how many years she was out. I think Chris, they did Crystal Barbie for probably two years because she really changed um, from the earlier ones to the l last batch they made because there are quite a few differences. They have some that were produced in Taiwan and the Philippines, and there are quite a few variations, as in the face painting, head size, things like that. Um, yeah, and also the hairstyle because some of them come apart, some of them don't. Some of them, the front hair is up in a ponytail. Um, and then some of them, they have a part where half the hair was in a ponytail. It's just a variation. And they also did one with a high collar. That's what they call in the doll Barbie world. High collar is where the face paint is quite bright sorry if I stutter it's because that's what happens when you're going through an anxiety moment and medication hasn't kicked in yet so this is how we're going so far see um I like the hairline better so much better wait let me take my glasses off I'm gonna let me take my glasses off and look because it makes everything look better. Uh, yeah, that looks better. I don't know. I think I might end up doing a front and half. Point. <laughs> this weekend. No, no. Oh, I just left telling I just had your own little conversation going on. So, see how long the hair is now that I'm not on Zoom. Do I cut this? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh my God, everybody, come on. If you if you find this to be good, educational, give me some thumbs up. Thumbs ups and all the comments you can because they do count with YouTube. Didn't know that, but they do. Because it shows people pay attention, people are interested, people are watching. So yeah, and then I found out that the more comments on the video means more because it shows people are interacting with you. But, you know, those thumbs ups, they do matter. They do count. So please know, yeah, they, they're important. They're kind of important. They really are. All right, I'll zoom in in a minute. Um, but I'm doing this from a distance so you can also see how things look at a different point of view, standpoint or what have you. 
All right, I'm almost done with the new front hairline because the back of her hairline is actually right there, which is perfect. You've got a big hole in my front. What? Richard, what in the world? Honey, I think you need to go to a dentist. I don't think I can fix that. Oh my God, what, what did you do? Honey, you gotta go to a dentist. Okay, so here's Barbie now. Oh, there we go, auto light. So here she is with her new hairline in the front. So she doesn't have all that big forehead. I'm not worried about the simple little gaps across the front here because many of the Barbie dolls from the 80s, they actually had that. Some do, some don't. Eh. I am so grateful for all the adult collectors that collected all those Barbies from the 80s and then they put them on eBay for us. Okay, that's it. I'm done putting new holes in her head. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, also take notice, let me come in and zoom. Oh, Brats, you're amazing. Um, as you see how I do the hair at the center, you notice how I take my needle. Um, one side is longer, so the longer side, I slide like this, ta-da, and it catches. I just slide it on like that. That's an important thing for you to take note of, so that way you don't, um, like, prick your finger and stuff like that. Oh my God, you tripped on the dining room chair. Oh God, that sounds painful. Gosh, honey, you have got to go to a dentist. You can't feel that with an acrylic, nail acrylic. You've got to go to a dentist. I hope you got insurance, dental or Medicaid something. I don't know what they have that in New Zealand. Don't know how that works out over there, but I do hope you have that. And call now and get you an appointment. Oh, you're going to, oh, you're going to the appointment. Good, 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 good. Because they actually can um, drill around on the inside and put some stuff in the cure and then they can fill it with stuff to match. Um, your tooth. Um, I used to have a bigger gap between my teeth and um, I had them. I can show you. Uh huh. So it was this one. I had a bigger gap and they fixed it. I had a much bigger gap and everyone was like, oh, you got the Madonna gap. If that's what you want to call it, okay, fine by me. All right, so we're trying to get Barbie's hairline going. I'm going to get that done. In fact, we only have that much more to go. How long has it been? It's been almost an hour. The hairline takes the longest. Honestly, doing your doll's hairline, that takes you the longest because you're having to focus and take more time on how you put the needle because it's gonna affect the way your doll looks from a visual point of view. Aside from the times I had to get up and then the little paint issue. Dixie, I need you to stop trying to eat on the Christmas tree. It's not real. She bites the Christmas tree. Oh my God, I just remembered. I need, I need my, um, 
I need my other thing of movies, a small one. I want to see my Barbie Christmas movie, Barbie and the Christmas Carol. I don't understand why they never um, made Barbie's friend Catherine, the African-American girl. I was so peered about that, but yet they made those little ugly, the little ones, the, 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 they took Kelly's and made them into the spirits of Christmas or whatever you want to call it, but yet they didn't make her best friend. That was such a disappointment. Okay, that's going to be a thick plug. It is it's true. It's very true. Um, when you start rebooting, the hairline process, going around the hairline takes the longest. It really does. When you start doing everything else, that goes much more smoothly. Because you want to get it into those holes correctly because you're going to see the hairline. You're not going to see everything in the middle. Oh, Dixie. Yes, she is. I think she's full of something else, too. Um, I picked her up earlier. I was giving her some kisses. Her little meows are coming back. But Dixie is starting to eat more. And Dixie is feeling a little heavy. She's definitely feeling heavier than before. And she is sleeping more. Yes. Dixie might give me some baby Dixies. Woohoo! I don't care. Don't nobody, nobody better not say nothing to me. I don't care where I'm staying. Nobody better not dare say something to me about my little mini Dixies. I tell you what, they'll, they'll get a slap upside the head. Besides, Dixie hides and she'll teach her children to hide. I mean, I'll keep them till they're big enough to get other homes, but if she has a mini version of herself, that's a keeper. Period. Besides, with all the stress I've been under emotionally, I think I need more than one animal support. I need a lot. Okay. So let me see how this is looking. All right, Krista Barbie. How are you looking, girl? Not yet. She ain't got kittens yet, so... Let me come in. There we go. Krista Barbie getting her hairline. That look, that's good. Look, that looks good. But yeah, I think I'm gonna give her a part. Maybe. Or either I might just fill in some of those spaces. One of the two have not decided yet. But I do know the outside, I'm going to do different rows of Snow White and Platinum hair. So it's going to be a mixture. Her hair is definitely going to be a mixture of the two colors. Um, it's going to look very beautiful when it's blended. Okay, my stomach's rumbling. It must be near 12. One good thing about my lives, if I need to take a break, I can actually now fix this where I can pause it and take a break. And then it'll just pick up where I left off. Dixie. I don't want you going to sleep all day. I like to see her crawling up. Okay, so see, that's how the back of our hairline is coming along in the original holes. And this is large. So this is a large um, skein. 
of cat cell care. Um, or you can get um, the regular small, which is not as long. So you can get it shorter. Um, and you will need two orders of the regular size. If you don't want your doll's hair to be super long, it will be long. It'll be like past her butt, like to her thigh with the other kind. So it's still long. Wow, she has a very rubbery head. And I was so happy. I brought my container, a plastic container of doll hair. I kept that with me so I could have days like this where I didn't want to go out and see the world and I could just stay inside and reroute doll's hair, some of them, and enjoy it. Oh my God, who was saying it? Lucien, what? <laughs> Honestly, hon, I'm so zoned out watching you reroute this girl. Oh my God, you're such a sweetheart. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm sorry about you being zoned out. I didn't want you to be zoned out, but um, I hope it's in a good way where it's, um, you know, I hope it's a good thing, period. I mean, you know, I really do. It's just that, you know, my great, I love that. Thank you, sweetheart. That reminds me, I need to check out your channel and subscribe because I'm not familiar with um, what you have, but from what I'm reading, some of my regulars here um, really like your videos and familiar with them. So I try to support my subscribers. Are you a subscriber? If you're not a subscriber, you should really be a subscriber because that way I can turn out subscribe right back. There were people last night in Walmart looking for ugly sweaters and they were sold out at Walmart. I don't get it. Who, who wants to participate in the ugly sweater contest? My God. No, you subscribed weeks ago. Well, thank you, sweetheart. Okay. That's a cluster of holes in one. I don't get it. One thing, I mean, people, what I've noticed is if you Google, um, <clears throat> or go to eBay and put Barbie 1981, then bar look at all Barbies through the years, 1981, 82, 83, 84, 1985, the only Barbies that had big hair were Barbie and the Rockers first edition. After that, they had curly bangs and straight hair. Um, there was no big hair. Um... 1986 from in the 87 um barbie never had 80s big hair ever only barbie and the rockers first edition and then i noticed that barbies in the 90s when 1990 89 89 and 90s started they started giving barbie that big fluff stuff hair like style magic barbie 
the holiday Barbies. Okay, I have to say this. Holiday Barbie should have big fluffy hair with curls. Oh no, you won't catch me wearing an ugly sweater either. I'm sorry, I'll go topless first. And then tell everyone I didn't, I'll just tell everyone it's an invisible sweater. I'm not kidding. One thing I can say about when it comes to painting a doll and rerouting one, your mind is absolutely blank. Okay, hairline is finished. So basically an hour to do Barbie's hairline. See? Do, do, do. The hairline is now done. Yep, so now we start with the inside. And I'm going to start from the back and work my way up to the front. And I am not going to be putting it in the exact holes that they originally had for her. So we're gonna place her little ball nugget right here. Oh, thank you, Lucien. I'm so happy. God, let me think. Ugh, I can't go to your channel right now. I need another device. If I had my computer, I'd go on it and then just pull you up and subscribe. Where's my pen? Because it's some of you, I mean, I like watching other people's content. So I need a moment. I'm getting a pen. Where did he put them? He had one in here last night, my roommate. Uh, one thing I can say about Eduardo, he is very respectful. The man is respectful. He does not disrespect me. He does not say bad things, and I love that. Okay, Amber. I know I'm subscribed to Amber. Um, Lucian Hayden. Okay. Got it. Who else? Who else? Let me look to you guys. Yes, I know I'm with Crystal. Crystal, I don't think she posts our videos. She does pictures on Instagram. And they love them. <laughs> Benjamin said, Dixie's full of mischief. I hope that she is. She got it from her mother. She is an exact replica of her mother. All right, I wrote your name down so that way I can look you up when I'm done. Because I have videos like this that last a long time. Really? Mom's watching me do doll hair? I just got to talking with my mom. I told my mom that she, you know, she wants to go and she wants us to go to see the Christmas parade Saturday. And um, so I told her, stay with me Friday night and we will get up Saturday morning to go see the parade. Oh, this is platinum. Mm. Oops, hold on, pause. I'm not doing two rows of um, Snow White. I'm going to be doing different rows so that it will blend and she will have an even amount of um, Snow White and Platinum Blonde hair because this is a mixture. Oh my God. Now, if it starts looking a little tangly, that's when you take your spray bottle, wet it down, and then take your brush and brush it through. But like I said, that water with conditioner works a miracle. And throw it up over the couch somewhere so it's not in the way. Now, when I finish rerouting her, first thing I will do is put her earrings back in her head. So this way, when I start doing the glue in her head, it um, just in case it gets to the earrings, they will be glued from the inside of her head and it will stay in. Mm -hmm. And 
you and your mom always give me wonderful comments. Now I'm going to wet this hair because it's just so much easier to separate without it getting messy. By the way, I have a surprise coming up soon. I will be doing American Girl video soon. Yes. I received a special gift card and a discount. So, uh, um, you can't beat that with a stick. Okay, set the brush to the side. All right, it's about time for me to start zooming in a little bit. Just because. I'm trying to decide where I want to start this. There are one, two, three rows that are completely connected almost together, but I'm using thicker hair. So I'm skipping some space and I'm going in here. Yeah, that's how I'm doing it. So I'm going to show you this. I'm putting that much space in between here and here. Only because I'm adding thicker hair and I don't want to be too overwhelming. She will have super thick hair, but it'll work. You'll see. Because I haven't decided on her hairstyle yet. So regardless, the hair is it's going to be thick. I mean, it was already thick before, but they put a bunch of hair in the holes. Now... I'm going to tell you a trick. To see the holes, if you want to shrink the holes, boil water, dip Barbie's head into the boiling water. The neck hole will shrink and all of the little holes that are in her head will shrink and you can barely see them. Thank you to Bradley Justice, who was very well known in the doll community and done a lot of writing um, with Mattel and everything. No, I am not filling all the holes. My God, no. I'm skipping rows and everything because I'm adding more than enough amount of hair. See? You see how thick hair I'm plugging in the holes? So, no, I'm not doing every hole. She's going to have lots of hair, more than sufficient. I'm not doing every hole because they did crooked. They did waves of light rows in her hair, so it's very crooked. Now, this is how much hair I'm doing in one. Now, with this, it's actually being doubled. So it's twice as much hair that's being put into one of those holes. So it's double the hair of what I'm actually pulling off. See? So she's really going to have that much hair in one hole. Um, I've, I have reviewed her an 18 inch doll. What is that doll? Um, Julie, June and Julie musical doll. I think she was from 70s, early 80s. I don't know. I have a few of them. I really love her for some reason. It's just, I like the music, the lullaby she plays. I have a wonderful reroute. I started on another one, but I stopped because I'm not liking the hair color I use, which I should finish it anyhow. Because I've done started. Okay, so I'm going to zoom a little bit. Oh, a little too much. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't have any of those here. But I do want to do one that's got like a champagne blonde hair color. Similar to one my cousin had. Who she still has. Um, she let me play with it as a kid. My cousin Lisa let me play with hers too. And these are cousins on my mom's side of the family. My cousins on my dad's side of the family. Um, my cousin Pam. She's older. She had, no, she was a teenager. She had a Laverne and Shirley doll. And she had a Marie Osmond doll. I thought they were ugly, so I didn't play with them. They freaked me out. They were just weird. Um, my cousin Jessica, she had, um, Barbie and the Rockers, Barbie with the curly hair, Diva with the curly hair, um, Tropical Miko, um, I think Tropical Barbie maybe too, 
and she had Gem and the Holograms, wait, she had Jim and Kimber. Uh, she had all the strawberry shortcake stuff, including her house. And she had a room where it was all displayed. She had corn silk cabbage patch kids. She had all that stuff and she never stopped playing with them. So she was fun to hang around as a kid. She was really fun to hang around when I was a kid. I mean, she had so many Barbies, God. Mostly 80s. Um, that's that's most of the kind of Barbies that I recall playing with. Oh, I had my cousin Lisa had Darcy, um, a red-headed Darcy in the blue. Um, I remember playing with her and my cousin Sandra. These are on my mom's side, the family. Yeah. They had lots of dolls. Oh, my cousin said, my dad's side of family. Oh, my God. Lisa had West, no, not Western. She had Superstar Barbie and the Jeans Barbie and a Ken. That's it. No, and Kissing Barbie, Kissing Barbie. She had those. Uh, my cousin Kathy had Western Barbie, Angel Face Barbie. Um, I think that's it. It's, they all kept them in a case. They had a case. Um, they were all in Barbie cases. Um, the Superstar Barbie got destroyed. Lord, did she ever. Broken neck. Um, broken arms off. Um, she was the one I found years later in the woods. But that was when I was a kid. I lived in farm, so I remember going with my father deer hunting. Yes, he would go hunt. They they that's what they do in the country. They go deer hunting. Yep. Oh, that's looking pretty, so I'm showing you the back of her hair. This is the back of her head. So this is the second row. I did leave some space in between like that. But I'm making up for, for thickness. Um, it is possible I will go through and add more hair. That is a possibility. But don't count on it. Because the hair is already this thick. And it's going to be double that by the time I'm finished. So I'm not going to need to fill that in. And the hairstyle I'm thinking is a front upper ponytail to the side and then the back hanging down, possibly curls. But, um, and then I remember my friend Loretta. Oh my God, she had Kiss and Barbie. She had everything from all the years. Jewel Secrets Whitney, Jewel Secrets Barbie, Peaches and Cream. Um, who did she not have? She had these sandy seaweeds. They were little mermaids. And I was very, I was a little kid. They weren't new. They had done retired years ago. And... <laughs> I was going to watch her swim in the toilet and I flushed her in the toilet and she got stuck in the pipeline and they had to call a plumber and they had to dig up her whole entire backyard and they actually found the mermaid doll and it had turned black from the sewer but they also found a Barbie doll apparently I had flushed down the toilet too because I was giving her a bath and had to get the soap out of the toilet what did I not do as a kid? I mean, oh my gosh. I mean, all I can say, I got in a lot of trouble. Not intentionally, but it happened, you know? Oh, my cousin Nancy had Tiffany Taylor. So all my cousins, they had these Barbies that were like in fashion dolls from the seven, late 70s, throughout the 80s. And so I just remember being a little kid, looking up to them. And, you know, 
some of them, they kept their dolls in the attic. And I remember going into the attic like Stephanie. I would go into the attic looking for their Barbies and stuff. So I could play with them. And so, you know, going to stores. We didn't really do that a lot when I was little. So, you know, I mean, I'm still, I read an article recently. I think I mentioned this before where this woman went into a Western auto store in mid-America. And she found an original Malibu Barbie in the box package, never opened with the price on it. So believe it or not, small country towns, they still have Barbie dolls here and there from the 70s and 80s in these really old stores that are still open and running. They still have them on shelves. Hobby Lobby, I mean, I'm sorry, Holly Hobby. Barbie, other fashion dolls, they're still in these stores called like Western Union. I'm, I'm sorry. It is not Western Union. Western Auto. That's it. Western Auto. Where they sold like, um, like they sold auto parts or I don't know. I went in one and they had a little section with toys and they were not modernized toys. I mean, these were elderly people running the store and they never restocked on toys that were from 70s, early 80s. I went to this one store called Pope's and they had like, oh my God, like a whole row of Dream Date Barbie from 83. Uh, they also had um, uh, Magic Moves, African-American Barbie, the African-American one, that's how I got her. So, you know, I went to these stores and when I was growing up, these are old country stores in Littleton, North Carolina, and they never replenished on newer dolls. This is like probably 10 years ago. Uh, yeah, I want to say 10, 15 years ago. So that's how I got Tropical Miko. You know, I, I went into the store in Littleton, North Carolina, in the main street. I do not know the name of that store, but I remember going into that store, going to the toys, and they had um, She-Ra, um, some of her friends on the shelf in the little toy section. Um, they did not replenish on newer dolls. They still had the older dolls. They did, I guess they didn't, they, it, this was not, these were not main stores like Walmart, Target, or, you know what I'm saying? Family dollar. It's not like, it wasn't like that. These stores, their money came from like clothing or things like that. Did I'm talking, you know, country store. So it's just a very country type store. And, you know, they didn't make money from toys. And when they had gotten toys in, it was from back when. And I think they didn't look at them as being worth money. So they just kept them on the toy shelves. They were never moved they were never you know done so i remember going in there and i saw she and her friends i got glimmer um i got tropical miko um <clears throat> let me see i did not see tropical barbie but they had island fun barbie so i got tropical miko i got island fun barbie i got glimmer my brother got a uh, starburst she -Ra. And he also got Tropical Miko. And I don't know. I, I thought they were new because they had a bunch of Tropical Miko and a bunch of Island Fun Barbie. I mean, a lot. It was like a shelf. It was like a whole shelf full of them. So I don't know. It was not an antique store, antique store, nothing like that. They sold, they had clothes. Um, and my mom was there getting clothes. And the toy section was very small. I, I'm thinking that, you know, they got toys in and they just never restocked from the 80s. Period. I mean, they didn't have no Cabbage Patch Kids. But this is in Littleton. Well, this was Warrington. Warrington, North Carolina. That's in Warren County. It was in downtown Warrington. And this store was on the corner. Um, it was on a corner and I don't know the street and that was where I grew up. <sighs> 
Exactly. That's right, Brad. They really, it wasn't a toy store. Um, this is a very country store. I think they got some, you know, they got some Barbies and certain toys from the 80s and they just never restocked. They never restocked. Um, what else was it? There was a um, another store. There was a Rite Aid. I remember going into a Rite Aid store, drug store, and they had Island Fun Barbie on the shelf. She was $8.99 and they had her with two new Barbies, two modern Barbies, but they had three Island Fun Barbie dolls in the box, never opened, and Sorry, reading something. No, I'm not getting the Area Limited Edition doll. I don't have doll money for that to, to spend on it. And two, I don't like her enough. She looks weird. That's just my opinion. Any one of you that like her, love her, what have you, I say go for it. Um, no. Um, I was a kid. So, you know... Um, I did, I had got, that's how I got my island phone Barbie. I got Tropical Miko at a different store, but I mean like Runnick Rapids. I mean, these stores were in the nine, I want to say 99. They had, that was when this was around 1999. Yeah. And they had Barbies from, um, 1986, 87. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, God. So that means, like, Tropical Barbie, Island Phone Barbie, they were out for, like, two years because I think the date on the box for Tropical Mika was, like, 1985, but yet she was out 1986. And that also includes the first edition Rocker Barbie. So the, the dolls back then were out for like two years. Well, they're doing that now. Some of them are out for two years. Um, my brother found Starburst. She were like on a store shelf like six, seven years after her release date. She was on a clearance. She was clearance. But, yeah, small country towns, you know, it, it's like that. <clears throat> Someone told me, it was Shelly, told me she had got a new Barbie and told me it smelled like Windex. I'm putting in another hole. Let me look at the front hairline. Because I'm already up here at the front. So I'm going to try to fill in these gaps with the other color. Because I'm doing the second row up closer to the front of her face. <laughs> I'm the queen of everything. <laughs> just call it that. And we just call it a day. Call it a day, darling. But I'm using two colors. So you see how they're blending? We got the snow white we got the platinum it's really it's a beautiful mix see how it looks twirled up yeah this hair is already getting thick i don't care she's gonna have amazing thick hair all of my dolls end up with super thick hair because of my technique of I pull out hair and then it's actually being rooted double. You see how I grab, see how it's looped around my finger? And then I let it match at the end so that they're even like this. And then I hold it, let go. My rooting tool, I take the longer end of the needle and I just slide it like this. And then, oh, there it is. And then we pop it in her head. So we can say, yay, she ain't no bow headed heifer. Yep, that works. That looks good.
But if you get Barbie dolls, I've gotten Barbie dolls that smell like a um, attic basement in the box, never open at like antique shops. Honey, let me tell you, I gently opened the box. I took the heifer out <laughs> and um, took her clothes off, washed them in the sink. I washed her as well, gave her a bath. Yes, and I let her soak. Yes, I did. I'm, I, I'm a little stinky doll. That's why I don't I don't like buying used dolls. I, I would rather buy them in the box. I don't care if they smell. But sometimes you have to be careful and look because sometimes that musty smell can be mold. My sinuses are stopped up. I'm almost done already with the second row. Yep, I just let them soak. And the thing is, a lot of Barbie dolls, you just gently take them out the box um, and clean them up, restore them up really pretty. And you can put them right back into the package as if they'd never been opened and just make them look good for display. I mean, I go on eBay looking at some. I got an Elvis doll that was from 1984, I think. I got two of them. But I also got the one from Mattel. The one from Mattel, his legs are held together by elastic. I hate that. I love celebrity dolls. I don't like the modern news body because the legs don't bend. They can't set down properly. I can't make them set in a Barbie car. How many what do I have? Oh my God. I know, I, I actually, Choi, her name is something, Miss Choi, I don't know, she's on Facebook. I, I messaged, I said, commented on her Facebook page about the Barbie number three being so popular and so hard to maintain in stores. And I said, you should do her in an 18 inch version an exact replica of her in 18 inch, fully articulated everything. Imagine if they would do 18 inch Barbie extras. The LOL OMG dolls, I think they need a new face. Um, the eyes are like buttons. They're like Betty Boops. Um, I I, th I I think they should have eyes like Rainbow High. And with eyelashes. Um, I like the bodies. I like the shape. I think it's cute. But I say they need a new face. But they're popular. The little kids like them. But the thing is, these little kids that get them, they undress them. Those dolls have nipples. They have nipples and they have thongs and they got big, big booties. They got big butts, like implant butts. They they definitely give Kim Kardashian a run for her money. So every time I grab new hair, a new little scrumble, I have to wet it. Um, but yeah, I thought to myself how all of these parents complained about Barbie's body, but then yet MGA, they're, they're good. They give their dolls everything that complaint that mothers and crazy Karens complained about. Um, with this, I don't know how long it is. I mean, I'm using the large skein. As you see, it's already getting thick. I'm only doing my second row. Um, it, it this hair will pretty much go to her ankles, so it's probably I don't know, I don't have a tape measure, probably a good because it's double. See, the hair could be 24 inches, I guess, 
No, I'm not 24, but similar. I don't know. I'm guessing it's probably about um, 11 inches when it's folded, the way I fold it and do this technique. Folded. Um, another thing is, too, when you do this, as you dampen the hair, you definitely want this hair to dry before you um, apply the hot glue inside the doll's head. Thank God my anxiety medication kicked in. That, that, that is one thing I hate living with. I hate living with anxiety. With, with all the stressors that I've been through lately, it's today feels really good to stay in pajamas all day long, which I'm doing. Um, and to just, just relax, just do something that I am enjoying doing. And Crystal Barbie needed new hair. In fact, I'm so happy I decided to do this with her because I know she's gonna look better when I'm done. Okay, come on, all you people watching, give me thumbs up. Echa la dedo por iban ese video, por favor. I need to learn some French because my top three countries are number one is the United States, number two is the UK, and number three is Canada. So thank you everyone in all of those countries. You are amazing. And I just love having communication with people in so many different countries. Um, I think it's wonderful. Because, you know, in other countries, America has a bad reputation. It really does. And uh, I'm just thankful that um, some of us are able to connect, we're able to connect and, um, you know, have a good influence on the country that we're in. I don't care if it's dog related or whatever, you know? Oh, wow. Look at my UK people. Oh my God. Thank you, Ryan and Lucian. Oh my God. UK. And you know, Kirsty, she's some... I mean, I have a uh, Chrissy, Kersey, she's from the UK as well. She's in London. Um, I have a Vanessa in London. Oh my God. Thank you guys for participating in the chat. Thank you for having the conversation, you know, thank you. You know, just for participating in chat, period. All right, Crystal Barbie. So you see how this, oh wow, Denmark. I love Denmark, it's so beautiful. Oh, thank you guys. So look, see the hair is already is almost as thick as what her original hair was. Now, here she is. I gave her a new hairline. Oh, well, I quite love the UK, darling. I'd like to meet the queen one day and have biscuit and tea. So yeah, I had to give Crystal Barbie a new hairline, uh, which works for her. It turned out really good. Looks much better. Um, so you can see that, I don't know, can you see the two tones? Not yet, don't worry. We'll end up in some, I'll put you in daylight when I'm done. But in the meantime, so now I've done two rows that go around in a circle. Oh, wow, I love that. She did, she had quite a bonka for her forehead. So now I'm going to start going across. I'm going to start going this way, this way, this way. I'm going to start going across like that. Wait a minute. As soon as I finish up that little spot right there. Oh, great. My sinuses are bothering me. I'm shaking up my coffee. Dixie is absolutely knocked out. Okay, push this up. I have to get in a better sitting position and more comfortable. So, yeah. This is what you have to do. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta get comfortable. I have to say, I, I love blonde hair on a doll. 
Um, in fact, most of my dolls are blonde. I mean, I like myself. I like me with black hair. That's just my personality. That's who I am. But when it comes to dolls, I love dolls with blonde hair. I don't care what color their skin is. I just think blonde hair looks good. You know, I love Mary J. Blige because she is like one of the most beautiful women of color and she does that blonde glam, I mean, amazingly. Hair happening. I've never heard of her. Hair happening, Barbie. From 1997. Huh. I, I, I have to remember to look her. All right, I'm going to have to write that down because I can't remember things. All right, so I got that done up. So now I'm going to go with the platinum hair, the snow white hair. I'm about to hit that. Let me fix this here. I was probably going to do a part. Uh, Y'all know what? Oh, yeah, Barbie's getting a part. Barbie is getting a side part, most definitely. As soon as I figure out where I want to put it, I think right here. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I'm going to show you. Don't worry. So I think I'm going to do Barbie a side part. Yeah, she's going to look really good. Oh, my God. And look how it's going to look. Look at this. Oh, this beautiful hair. Happening here, Barbie had color change hair. Huh. Happening here. Happen I've never heard of her. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the um, Snow White hair. Oh, snap. I don't want to mess up this hair. Oh, my gosh. And you got to keep it together. On Instagram. Okay, that's cool. Happening here, Barbie. Mo if she was 1997, I'm pretty sure she had that kind of cologne hair that they use. The fluff. I call it fluff stuff. I don't vacuum. And okay, here we go. I got a styrofoam plate to put my mess in. God, my sinuses are stopped up. They're so out of whack. Probably from crying so much. Okay, so now I'm going to do rows. So it's good. Have a leg popped over. Move the brushes. That was wet. Thank you know the thing with my brushes. It got wet. I ended up having to get new brushes. I was so grateful for one of my followers who's been a dedicated follower for years. And, you know, she really helped me to, she donated, she sent me money to get new paints and brushes. I don't know what I, that was just such a blessing. Okay, here we go. We're doing rows. And we're doing, um, we're going to be doing back and forth platinum rows. The Snow White is like a platinum. You want to get Snow White because Snow White doesn't have that iridescent sheen to it in sunlight. Like the... What was that other one? It was something, it was a white color with them and they changed it. So now I'm making my own rows. So I'm actually, I'm not putting hair into the holes that she originally had because she has some ball spots. So now I'm about to hit holes that she actually had. Get more of what? Shimmer paint? Yeah, 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 yeah. They have plenty of that. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. Um, Hobby Lobby, I went there. So, yes, I have my shimmer paint. So, you can see it's full. It's brand new. Um, I was able to get it. It's still got the price on it. So, yeah, I got a full brand new bottle. I got both of them. I have both of them. So, see, there's the price because the other ones at the price that come off. But, yeah. Brand new full bottles. Um, everything is brand new and full. See? 
all my paints are brand new. Everything, I got all my colors and they're full. Everything, all of this is brand new paint. But it, because the firefighters stepped on it. I mean, they, they got those big boots. They stomped them, burst, burst the containers open. Um, my brushes that were in here, the other brushes that were in here, they just got stepped on. It got stepped in half. It broke all my brushes in half um, mode. So I had no savable brushes. So as you can see, I mean, yeah, I have brand new brushes. So the brushes, these are all brand new. So it, that, it was just, I was freaking out. I was right. It was just, it was just, um, it was traumatic. For me, it was a very traumatic experience to live and go through that completely. Now, I am not pushing this whole needle in the doll's head. I'm only pushing that much into her head. Okay? Oh. Okay, Richard, go to the dentist, sweetheart. Get Handle your business. Love you. I hope everything works out okay, so do let me know. Okay, I have to re-wet this hair. You want to keep your hair damp because you see what's happened? That's what happens. Oh, my God. How much of this am I going to lose? If you keep it damp, it'll stay clear. And see, that's what happens. So you want to keep your doll, your doll hair damp. Because if not, it will become a mess. See? I'm sitting here thinking, oh, I would love to go to American Girl for the Girl of the Year debut. Oh, that would be so freaking awesome. I think they're doing it December 31st. <clears throat> you know, start the new year off right. That would be wonderful, yes. Uh, maybe Santa Claus would be good and I get some dolly dollars. Oh my God. Oh, here's my tool. I have to look at the top of my screen. My thing is, if I put, um, I could switch my phone to, um, um, to get rid of the, the sounds. But if I do, there will be no volume on my um, cell phone. You won't be able to hear me. It'd be a video with no sound. You just have to ignore it, please. Thank you. Okay. Darn it. See? See the hair that I'm losing? Because it got um tangled. Misplaced. Shuffled. That's why it's good to do it on the couch. You can put the hair on the back of the couch. Or your if you're on your, your bed. I'm trying to figure out where is it so uneven at. So I can knock that out the way. Now I am putting hair into her original. Holes, get the brush out the way. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. There we go. So you can see Barbie's head getting her plugs put in. Um, can you see the difference between the Snow White and this? This is going to be fabulous. Miss Tango look good. See? Isn't that pretty? She's going to be gorgeous. This is why I decided to reroute her because I knew she was going to look better with the reroute. And look, she's got all this gorgeous hair already. And look, I got all that to go. That's why I say, no, I don't do all the original holes. Because if I did, good Lord, it's too much hair. So I'm spacing it out because I am going to do a hairstyle um, similar to the original where she has a front ponytail. 
or in a, oh, I said I was going to do a part. I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to wait and see what happens. Let me just work on this and then we see what happens, period. I hear people at the office. Ugh, they're all up my derriere. They tried to say my mother was living with me. Oh my God, they pit. Ugh, that just, they made me so angry. I left a very naughty message. I, I, I snapped. I just went off and I left. I cussed them out, okay? Just flat out, cussed them out. And they told me I couldn't come into the office anymore. If I had any problems, I could call them or leave a letter in the box outside. Yep, it was that bad. It was really that bad. I told them it was their fault. I'm just a backwards Barbie. Too much hair. Girl, oh my God. I cannot believe how I influenced some of y'all. With Dolly Parton, Madonna. I don't, you know what I understand? People talk so much stuff about Madonna's age, but no one talks about Dolly Parton. And Dolly Parton is still very much, I mean, she's on the cover of some magazines right now. Um, She's out there, you know what I'm saying? But I, I think the difference is, Dolly Parton, she does her glam. She dresses up glamorously. You know, um, she still does music. But Dolly Parton is kind of like a sweetheart. You know, you don't think of her age. You think of her as a sweet lady, period. That's it. That's So that's what I think the difference is. As Madonna, you know, she's posting, you know, provocative pictures still. But I love both of them. But I like the fact that Madonna represents women who, you know, have passed a certain age. And, you know, she's saying, excuse me, just because we get older does not mean we cannot be beautiful and sexy. And I think that's true. I, I think women of all ages can be beautiful. And, you know, that's all I've got to say. Oh, I want to play music and I can't. My charger is deadly connected to my phone. Okay, there we go. That's one row. So see, I have, that's one row of platinum that's done. You can see the difference on the side, but because it's going to be well blended, it's going to be like this very well blended to create a very unique color. So now I'm going to the, um, back to the other color of Platinum Blonde before I get started. You see where it's starting to dry, you know. So this is why I spray it again with water and conditioner. I use, like I said, Pantene Smooth. Um, does not take very, it does not take a lot. A little bit goes such a long way. So you don't need a lot of it. You just need a little bit. And again, I use my brush, came from the Dollar Tree store. It does a good job, doesn't tangle my doll's hair. Now get all these loose pieces out of here. No, I do not use this on my head, but I want to show you. See all of these little coated bristles? They prevent damaging your doll's hair. I don't care what doll you have. But all of these little, you know, the way they're coated with little plastic, you know, balls to protect them. It doesn't damage your doll's hair. You can use this brush on any doll, whether the doll has rooted hair, wigged hair, does not matter. Okay, here we go. And I'm only getting a little section of this. See, I'm breaking it up like that. And I'm setting the other to the side. And this, I just flap it over my knee. Oh, this is uneven. Okay. 
Well, honey, I went last night. I, um, I was in Burlington Coat Factory with my roommate. And let's put it this way. I was looking at undergarments. I do not need a push-up bra. Okay? Period. All right? I, I need something to lift, but I don't need anything extra. Hello? <laughs> so, I'm fine in that department. Oh, no, I don't use the rainbow high combs. I throw them in the trash. It's just a waste of plastic. Um, they should have just made them into brushes. Okay. I don't know why I keep expecting someone from the office to come knocking on the door to see if my mother's here. That's terrible. They do. They did that. Yes, they did. Most thank you, Charles. I know one thing. I, I do not plan on renewing the lease here. That's for sure. That um <clears throat> I agree. I agree. I don't trust the combs and brushes that all come with either. Well, the Barbie ones used to be off the chain. Those are really good. I have to twist it because I'm putting more hair in than what she had. Oh, Lord have mercy. See? Oh, my God. Okay. See how thick this is? Look. So imagine it's going to be thicker than that. Look at the beautiful colors. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, that's how I roll. I like my Barbie with thick hair. One thing that's good to do if you don't want your doll's hair too thick, make it um, do your hairline. After you do your hairline, Make the hair thinner on the sides and thicker around the top of the head. So that'll help you for making it too thick. See, there's no hair, there's no holes right here. So I'm having to go up in here and do my own thing. Let me see her head. Where's her face? Okay, there. Okay. Wow, that's, that's a big, that's a bottle spot they left right there. She has some serious alopecia. And we got to She's not any more than this. Dixie all curled up up there. Okay. It's, a, it's really good. This tool has done so many dolls. And the other one, the needles I used, I used um, steel needles, sewing needles. And I have different sizes, and it takes a very serious tool to cut the end. Selena, where's Brittany from in America? Uh, okay, I'm a fan, but I don't keep up with her personal life like that. Um, I, I have no idea. I know she's from the country. She was born somewhere. I forgot. I don't know. I mean, somebody on here knows. I don't think, I think Brittany should stop using hair extensions. Um, I really do. I think she should just use her own hair. Let her own hair grow out. Same thing with Paris Hilton. By the way, I'm fans of both of them. I love them both. But like I said, I look at them as artists. I don't focus on their personal lives. But with Britney's, I am just so thankful that she's free. She has the freedom to do what she wants. And I just hope she enjoys that. And 
is able to maintain um, her dignity, her strength, and handle her business and have the right people in her corner and get rid of the wrong people. Sometimes you have to cut family off. Mariah Carey did. It's in her memoirs, you know? which is a very good book. I do highly recommend the Mariah Carey's book, Memoirs, oh uh, no, the Becoming, the Becoming of Mariah Carey. Anyway, it's from, I have the hard copy, the hardback. I bought that book when it came out because when, you know, she was talking about personal things that, Oh my God, the stuff that happened to Mariah, dealing with all this racism from her mother's side to family and stuff like that. Ugh, it was horrible. God. I, I gained an entire whole new respect for Mariah Carey. And then she came out, you know, with um, having her own diagnosis with mental illness and experience. You know, I just respect her as a human being and an artist and everything. Same thing as Brittany, you know, what she went through was just horrible. The press, I, I watched Becoming Brittany on Netflix. Y'all should watch that. It's powerful. Um, oh my God, you would, but I, I can see why she lost it because if you saw how the press was hounding her oh my god chasing her almost preventing her from driving running in front of her when she's driving all of these things oh my god it was horrible what this woman went through i mean just pure harassment i swear i i i do not want to be famous like that no nope, count me out okay now it's time to switch hair because, like I said, I'm doing rose. So, all right. Now we're going to Snow White. Okay, it's still damp. I have the window here cracked open a bit. You know, let fresh hair flow through. I've done vacuumed. I've done swept, mopped. So everything's nice and fresh. Okay, she doesn't have any holes up in this area. Lord have mercy, her hair is already getting too thick. Oh, Jesus, what am I going to do? You know what, though? It's going to still look good. I do that sometimes. I did it with rocker, peaches and cream, several of my dolls. Who cares? The more hair, the merrier. And see right up in this section, it has a number zero one up there on the top of her head. And she's got little spots where there's no hair. They didn't put hair in certain areas. So it's been two hours. And as you can see, I've already done a complete hairline. Um, most of the back, this is what I have left at the very top. And I am doing spaces in, in between the rows because I'm doing thick hair. I'm doing thick plugs. Okay, finish that little spot. Now I have to come over. Uh, so because the ear, if I went here, oh, let me redo this. So if I started here and went straight all the way across like that, from ear to ear, it will come across, but I can't do that. I'm having to start here and come across right there. And I'm going to continue doing that with Snow White, which I'm probably going to open up another pack of Snow White because this is some, I'm using what was left of my more modern Barbie that I rerouted last night and finished up this morning. So let me see, I'm gonna start this back there. I want me some rollerblades. 
Or it'd be nice to have a bicycle. Oh God, I could go riding the bicycle up and down this area. I would take my basket, have a little basket in the front, have me a beverage to drink. I'd have American Girl doll, a Barbie doll or two, and probably a Cabbage Patch Kid, and we would be on our way down the road and let people look at me like I was crazy. I don't care what people think of me. Why? Why should I care? Why should anyone care what someone thinks of them? Opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's got one. Yes, Amber. With the cat seal care, the saran hair, with one order, it's actually two packs of hair. And that's enough to reroute a full Barbie doll. Unless you're like me, then you need three. <laughs> Well, two and a half, two and a half. But I, I recommend, because of the way I'm, I, I do it, it's double the hair. Um, you know, just do it thinner, um, certain areas, and just have it thicker at the very top and where you do a part. Because Amber does amazing reboots. Y'all should follow her on Instagram. Amber, you should post, post, post your Instagram up here so people can see your dolls. You've done such an amazing job with your Barbies. Wow. She does amazing reroute. She really does, like, no joke. I was blown away by her work. But this is the real time of how long it takes to do this. No, post post um your um Instagram channel. Post the name of your Instagram up here. Go ahead and type it so they'll know. I haven't even eaten today. I'm going to actually fix steak um, tacos for supper. <sighs> okay, she's got some loose trans popping around because they are tickling my leg. Oh my God, look at this hair. Oh. Look at all this thick hair. See, she's in. She doesn't that look better the forehead if you were here from the beginning. And I like the side part so much better with her. I mean, look at the hair. And I'm not even done. Yeah, we'll try look at Amber's work on Instagram. And she uses braiding hair from this beauty supply store. And I'm like amazed at how she um, makes it so smooth and silky. I'm like, wait, how do you do that? She says she just dips it in hot water. I'm like, okay, I tried doing that to a um, pink and pretty Barbie. And that braiding hair frizzed. It's a frizz, but she's like, no, warm water, not hot water. And they have some beautiful colors. I mean, I think that's a good hair to use on a bigger doll. Most definitely. Like, I don't know who, but oh well. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. If I was to have another life-size Amaya Rain, and if I was going to give her new hair, I would definitely use um, 
one pack of beautiful silky um, braiding hair that already has um, a wave with a slight curl. And I would also get hair, black hair extensions to bond on her head and make her into a little mini me because with her face paint, she would make an amazing um, black hair doll or even a platinum haired one. Oh my gosh. The possibilities are just endless. <clears throat> and honestly, what makes a doll pretty much, it can be a doll. She can have an ugly, but ugly face. But if she's got amazing hair, it's on. See, you should post a tag of the hair that you use. Girl, you got to post a tag. You got to be a little more specific with me. All right. So this is all I have left of my Snow White hair. So I'm looking all up in her head like, all right, where are we going to stick this at? You know what? Hold on. Let me look at her and see where I do the part. Somebody said I'm wired backwards. No hurt. Crystal, you are not wired backwards, girl. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, okay, let me try something. Uh, huh, I don't think I have a Barbie from the 80s that has her hair parted on this direction. I think that's a little too much hair over there. Let me see. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to see if I want to do a um, side part. I think I do. I think I do want to do a side part. Yeah, because she takes, um, Amber takes a lot of these really cheaper type dolls. There is no way I'd waste my time rerouting those. <laughs> but she does it. She enjoys it. Um, hey, I, I told her, I was like, that's what you love doing. You do it, girl. Okay, I got to get this right there into the center. I have to squeeze. There we go. Okay, and we're doing your part. This is very important. So the hair, the way I root, it's gonna be two places like this, and you're gonna take them and split them and go this way like this. And that is how you're gonna create your part, okay? So I only did that little piece, but yeah, Crystal Barbie, her hair is gonna be parted to the side like this. I like that. That's gonna look good. It's gonna be very thick hair. It's gonna be gorgeous. Well, it's already looking gorgeous. So we just gotta give it all this ball, ball spot. All these ball spots. Lord have mercy. That's a lot of hair. How did I do this? And it's crooked. <laughs> But my original Tropical Miko, some of her original hair had gotten damaged um, from heat. And I rerouted her. I did. I rerouted her. And I made her hair a little bit thicker than it originally was. Not this thick. No. This is just a lot. I, I'm just, honestly, somehow I'm just putting too much hair in my glasses. It's these glasses I'm wearing. They're new and they're making me senile. I see that big up. I'm just kidding. No, I don't. I do not know what kind of hairstyle I'm giving this chick. I want to do a side part, but then I'm torn. So, uh, 
We're just going to have to wait and see what happens when I get to the end point, period. That's all I can say. Okay, so that, and then we got this. So we're getting there. And I'm gonna try to do it in 45 minutes. That means it'll take basically three hours. I have done this in two and a half hours. Oh, I agree. I love people in dog community, especially ones that aren't buttholes. There are some buttholes in the dog community. There are people got an attitude problem. And there are some people that will piss on you and call it rain. They will cheat you. But there are mostly good people. Um, like there are some people in the dog community. They have extras of certain dogs. If someone has had something happen to one of theirs or damaged or lost, they'll donate one. And I've seen that happen. I mean, just we, there are some amazing people in the dog collecting community. I am just so thankful that none of my dogs got damaged from water or fire. Because now they're telling us that there was a fire upstairs. That apartment is completely destroyed. Yep. I'm like this, you know, no one's going to be living above us for a long time. Um, that girl, she was threatening the lives of the people, threatening all of these bad things. And she's been banned from the property over there. And it, it was something. It was a mess. All right, girly, we only got that much more to go. And all of this here has been filled. Whew. Crystal, you can do this. Just get you a good glue glue. English girl, English, a glue gun. Um, you can they sell them at Walmart, and the glue the the glue sticks at Walmart. They got um, they got packs for like three ninety seven. They got different variety of links, um, sizes and amount that come in a um, pack. So yeah, I get the Walmart one. Um, believe it or not, it's an inexpensive one. The glue. Um, that does it, but it does an amazing job. Um, it's permanent. It doesn't get hot again. It doesn't melt. It keeps the hair all wound up on the inside, which is a very important step. And that is to seeing how the hair, how I do the hair, so that all of this is glued on the inside, and then it's packed down up into the top area of the head, so it doesn't affect the articulation of the neck bob that goes inside Barbie's head. Wait a minute. Oh, it's time for a different color. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me try something. I'm going to try to put a plug right there. Okay, that worked. Okay, so I'm taking these like this and split it like that just in case because that's how you create your part for her hair to go to the side. I haven't decided yet, so, hey. Okay, but I'm gonna add a little more of this hair here anyway before I go do some more platinum, so it'll work, it'll be fine. Oh my sinuses, I need my nasal spray. Okay. 
Okay, gotta get this over here on the side. There we go. Because I kind of think I'd rather just do a front and half ponytail in a way. Because I think it would be really cute. And because I give her so much hair. But then even if it was loose, it would look good. It's, um... December, usually we're going into the cold weather. Today, it's really beautiful outside. It's quite lovely outside today. I am going to take this down some. Apologize, I'm pushing it down because I don't, I want this to be, yeah, that's better. Okay, I have to wet this again. You have to wet it several times. And I recommend spraying to the floor. This is the quickest way and safest way um, and permanent way to reroot any dog. Okay, I have to open up Snow White because I can't keep using the platinum. So, yeah, this is Catsix Snow White number 93. I'm using large. If you don't want to, this is also thicker, more hair into it. Or the scissors. Uh, let's 
so I'll show you how I do it because when it comes to you some people get confused and throw it off because it comes like this and when you unravel it it's like a um, circle you have to be careful so it's a circle see I'm, I know I'm on zoom there it's all like a circle like this see like that it's just, just one circle I like that um, so um, it's pretty thick pretty long and I take my scissors like this and I just find a good spot and I cut it like that just as simple as that cut it and you got a super long way to do it if you knotted it it would be super long hair but I don't this is why I double the hair I have it folded like this and that's how I root it into the doll's head and that's why then I remove all of these little wire thingies another thing is now I'm going to wet it in fact I can turn the camera to the side like that well okay it doesn't matter because this is going to be in front of my leg so as you can see I'm spraying the hair fiber wetting it and now I get my brush You got to hold it tightly. So once I've done that, I hold it up like this because it's super, super long. I'm ready for the um the the beach looking rainbow high dolls to come out. I'm ready for that turquoise girl. And they better be, oh shoot, see that's why you got to hold it real tight. See, it'll come out. Very important to hold it very tightly. You don't want to mess up what you just bought. Well, I didn't just buy this. When I buy this, I buy it a lot at once. Yes, I'm ready for the rainbow high turquoise girl. I'm not in a rush, I already have enough stuff as it is. And I hope her hair is gonna be pretty full. What do you mean a new doll of Bella Parker? How do you know? Girl, you better spill. <laughs> the Big Amaya is already on sale. Like 84 or 70 some dollars. You have to check Walmart or Target.com. And they got a bunch of them at Walmart. Oh, and the new Beach Wave. I hope those are inexpensive since they're like Beach Wave. I'm like, just make it simple in a swimsuit or whatever. Or whatever she's coming in. I know one thing. I'm ready to be done with this girl. <clears throat> and heat up my glue gun. Does she have a different hair color? Does she have a different hair color? Does she have a different look?
Oh, she's the same. Huh. Maybe, maybe they won't, they'll give her different facial screening, slightly different facial pain or something. Because the Bella Parker I'm seeing in stores right now, they're just the, the one that's out, the, the older one had much thicker hair. The one I see in the stores now, her hair is so thin. And you can't order hair to replace it. That's for sure, because I don't know where to buy that kind of hair from. Okay, that's it. That's all I got left right there. Oh, we are working this <clears throat> as quickly as possible. And I'm sticking it in that big hole right there where that crack is. <laughs> Oh my God, it's I have one of the first Bellas. I think of Bellas from Pitch Perfect when I see that. Somebody is cutting trees down. I have to say, it feels good to feel relaxed at this moment. Thank God. <sighs> feels good to breathe and feel some peace with it. Let me tell you, I'm telling y'all, there is no better feeling than that. Especially after I've done good cleaning and everything like that. Well, I, I want to get my, I have a container, a small container with my Rainbow High Girls in. I want that out of storage. Um, I also want my 17-inch Disney Princess dolls because I want my Esmeralda out before I watch the movie. But I'm thinking she needs to be reviewed. It. I don't like the cheap hair that they use. They use this horrible hair. It's, um, I don't know what that crap is. It's kind of coarse. It's just, ew. That's what it is. It's just, ew. As Cardi B would say, e. Okay. I'm having to add a few more holes. Okay. 
nothing here. Okay, we're almost at our face. See, that's it. That's all we got left. And I am using the platinum white toward the front at the top. Yep, going across front top. That way it looks like it kind of gets a little bit darker with the highlights as you go toward the back of our hair. And I don't think I'm giving her a part. Did that go in? Yep, it's in. Okay. No, I don't think I'm gonna give her a part. Let me check this. Oh wow. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna do some where it comes up in a ponytail to the side thing like it originally was. Something like that. Okay, so here she is. Uh -huh. And this is her random hair. I'm not finished with the front. Let me hurry and get this done. Okay, okay, okay. So there's the back. So she has good hairline all the way around. And I'm almost done. Basically, fill in this just one row and she's good to go. It's basically a done deal. Yay! There we go, a small little spot left, that's it. Oh my gosh, she's got too much hair. I've, I've already seen winter um, break poppy at TJ Maxx, I think from 1999. She has so much hair, you can't even see her face. Oh, I need to go ahead and heat up my glue gun. So then I can show you how I um, make the hair permanently inside the head. because I use a different type of process. Okay, I think, I think I'm done. Am I done? Make sure I don't need to add any more hair somewhere. No, she's got more than enough hair. That is totally plenty of hair. Okay, so that's how thick her hair is. Yep, that's probably enough hair for two dolls, right? 
You would think so. Chris the Barbie is fully done. And after that ball perm, after the ball perm, all of the holes that are going around her head, they're going to shrink and become much more smaller and you won't even notice them. Okay, so let me move that hair over there. I'm going to just trim up some of these little pieces. Here, let me turn my camera. Let me see, can you see? Oh my God, not really. I think so, yeah. There, just cut those little ends off. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get my glue gun heated. Don't worry, you will get to see that process. I'm lifting my camera up. Um, let me zoom out. Oh, oh God. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, my butt hurts. Oh, my head. Oh, my God. I'm sitting so long. My butt is numb. Woo, chow. Okay, so this is my glue gun. And I just use a high temp. I got I use a big one because I use different size dolls. All right, I'm sticking it into here. I'm trying to think if I if I'm gonna need another glue stick. So let me double check, see if I have glue sticks somewhere in case I need one. Oh, and then I can show they might be here with my hair, doll hair. Because I did make sure I wanted to make sure I had stuff here to keep me occupied in case I needed it. What is that from that girl? Oh, a special gift just for you. Oh, these are open. I need to check to make sure there's nothing on there. I cannot wait to give y'all doll videos. Oh my god. I'm talking like opening. Uh, I can't wait to do more VIE dolls, American Girl. I'm really excited about doing more videos of those. Okay, let me find my glue sticks. Must be in here.
the apartment or something. Let me double check in here. Oh my God. What's that? Okay, that's a good one. Well, I can't find my pack of glue sticks, but I still got some glue in that. Should be enough for me to finish this off. Uh, which means that my glue sticks may be in storage. I don't know if they made it the storage or not. They could have been in the fire. I um, mean, whereas we got flooded and from the fire. I, um, but they're inexpensive. They're at Walmart. <laughs> seven. Now, now I feel nervous. Oh, I forgot. Before I proceed with that, because you see inside, you see hair. I want to put her earrings back in. Oh snap, where are my glasses? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I thought I brought, I must have just brought one glow stick. Okay. Crystal Barbie has the dangle earrings. Wait, is that a ring? Wait, what's what? Oh, no, she's wearing her ring. Okay. So now I'm going to put her earrings in. There we go. Because when some, th I, I did this one time before. Um, I did put the earrings in and when I did the glue, I think it was for Peaches and Green Barbie. And when I tried to, when I, Put the glue on her ears without doing her earrings. Yeah, I did it the right way. Okay, we're good. Anyway, uh, after the gluing, um, I couldn't put her earrings in because her head had the um glue. Yep. So I'm making sure everything's in the right side. The diamonds. Yep. We are good. So she's got her diamond studded pearl drop earrings, all this new hair. Now it is time for the glue. Yeah, that should be enough to do her. Okay, but wait, 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 wait. I don't want no kind of mess. So I'm putting her necklace back on her neck. I'm moving some stuff out the way. I'm putting my plate here. Get rid of the brush. Wait. Since the, that hasn't, I'm letting it get really hot. Okay. I'm pulling all of this close to me on my trash. So y'all can see how to do that for yourself to make as less mess as possible. Now I'm going to take my tools that I'm not going to be using. I put them in with where I put my paint. Oh, that reminds me. So while you're waiting for the glue gun to get hot, you can... Close stuff up, you know, put it up, put it in its place. I bought these at the bathroom. My roommate, I think he used those to cut the hair out of his nose. I probably need, no, they're too thick. So, this is my hair tool um, that I use. Okay, these are my tweezers for my eyebrows, but okay, move that out the way. So, you, I got everything so you can see it. But this is the tool I use for big dolls. Um, yep, looks dangerous, doesn't it? 
Well, I, it actually is. Okay. <gasps> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. It's because I haven't eaten yet. And I need to. All right. Oh, snap. Live 56 minutes. Oh, did this thing automatically just like do cut the other half and start over again like a while ago or something? Okay. Yep, it's hot. So I'm going to stick it inside most of it. And I'm pumping about four times. And then let it go down, lift it up, move the gun. Okay, so with the glue inside, I'm going to hold on, I'm zooming. Okay. So what I do with the tool, because it's forked, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna push it around on the inside. Now that I do that, I'm gonna start around the hairline area and do twist. I do twist and pull out, twist and pull out. And I'm doing this all around the edges, sort all of catching all of the hair that's been pushed inside her head. I'm trying to get the hot glue and get it all tangled, get it all turned. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pushing in and I'm twisting all in all of these different areas to capture all of the hair plugs that are inside. And I'm holding this very tightly. See how the grip is I got on our hair? Because I want this to get all of the edges, all of the hair that's inside everything. And now I'm peeping inside, looking. The glue is still hot. And I'm going all around the edges because I want all of the glue to be at the very top of the head. I want all of the hair to end up to be centered. So that's why I'm going in different areas all around the hairline completely. Hi, Barbie boy. I love the name. So I've done that. Now I'm coming back in and I'm pushing more glue. Well, that's it. That's much as I can get in because that's the end of the stick. But I believe that was enough for me to fill Crystal Barbie's head. And now I'm gently filling with my finger. That's why I got my fingers all around the top of her head. So I can feel. You can you can feel when you push in and twist you can feel it grabbing a hold of the hair inside of her head so you know that the glue is grabbing the hair plugs in there and it's also twisting the glue around so that this is permanent it's not going to come out it's going to be waterproof mold proof all of that stuff and it, most of all it's going to last more than one lifetime it's going to last the lifetime of the doll. And it took me two and a half hours to do a full revert with lots of hair. And don't worry if the gun has made your doll's head, the whole part right here, get a little bigger. It's okay. With hot water, we're going to work through that. I'll show you which I should go ahead and get water started now. Let me look at our head, make sure it's not looking too weird because when this dries, when that glue dries, your doll, it can make her head look too wide or too skinny. So you want to kind of play with the shape a little bit here like this. So this way when it dries, it's going to look more like normal and not weird. Yeah, that looks good. All right, and now that the glue is drying, I'm gently pressing down to the top of the head. I'm going all around the edges on the inside and I'm pushing downward gently so that you do not go through the doll's head. That's why you got your fingers underneath the bottom. You can feel the pressure 
of the needle pressing all around those edges and into the center. You're pushing the hair and the glue down, pressing it, sort of be flat. And that's going to make the doll's head hard. Any glue that sticks on, you just like that, swipe it out. You're going to see some glue around the doll's neck, inside around here. You just take your fingers. You're going to feel the heat all around inside. Double check it. Yeah, Barbie looks good. She looks really good. I just want to make sure that her head's because once that glue dries, you don't want your doll to have a weird head shake. And you have time. The glue stays hot for a while, which is good. It's bonding all of that hair together. And okay. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, she looks good. See? Crystal Barbie got her flowy root. Now I'm going to go put some water on. Boil. Um. Yeah, so, and I'm going to show you how it's going. You're going to see all around these edges here, how it's going to shrink the holes. Hot water is going to shrink up the holes. And I'm also going to make this part of her head tighter. So if you have a Barbie doll, or find a Barbie and this part of the head is like pushed down to the shoulders. All you have to do is take the head off and dip it, um, boil some water, take it off the stove, dip the doll's head in all of this part, all of that, dip it into, into the hot water, then twist it like this so water can get inside that neck area and it's going to, it's going to shrink back up. It'll go return to its original manufactured size. I learned that from Bradley Justice. And now I can see inside the head. Oh, wow. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll show you. Let me go ahead and get some water heated. And then I'm going to try to show you inside her head. Oh, let me unplug the glue gun. Double checking inside. I'm gonna see if I can get a little more glue inside. Mm, nope. I can if I take this pen and stick it in the hole. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh snap, I got glue on her nose. Oh, it looks like it's not. Yeah, it's starting to dry because it's getting hard. The forehead's hard. Okay, some of this is not. Let me look on the inside. Yeah, as it dries, um, this whole area of your Barbie's head will become hard. Which is good. That means, you know, you don't have to worry about her hair coming out. <laughs> I am going to take this comb. And I'm going to stick it inside the glue gun and I'm going to push more glue into her head. And then I'm going to do more pressing. Okay, do it like this and press. There we go. And it worked. Perfect. Okay. And I'm actually going to use the rat tail comb. I should, I can do this too. Oh yeah, definitely got glue. So I want to make sure the sides and this part of the back of the Barbie's head. Yep, I was able to capture that with the needle. I can tell by the way it feels. Excellent. 
yeah, I got it good. I did it good. I did it good. Everything's done perfectly. Yeah, just the way it's supposed to be. All right, Barbie. You're almost ready to party. The beauty supply store gave me two of these for free. I thought to myself, she should have just gave me a, a deeper discount. Okay. I know my camera's now fully, fully charged. And God. Oh my God, it's three o'clock? Okay, get into some natural lighting. <sighs> Oops, I don't want the thing to rotate. So you can see inside of Barbie's head. You can see the glue around that part down inside. Okay, here's Dixie being nosy. So all of the hair has been done. Here's her close up. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and do this on Zoom. <sighs> I'm trying to unzoom. Am I unzoomed? Okay, yeah, we're unzoomed. Okay, I hear the water starting to boil. So Barbie is not getting apart. You have to be careful with what you're about to do now because you do not want hot water to get on these earrings because it'll mess them up. Okay, water is getting almost hot. So what you want to do first is wash your doll's hair. Because you want it to already be wet before you start... Um, Dipping it into hot water. So that's how I do it. I don't dip dry saran hair into a pot of hot water. I'm just going to use this detergent. Yep, the, the earring part, the diamond part, I've had it melt and it freaked me out. Depending on the temperature, so we're going to get this nice and clean. You can't see how the colors blend. See how beautiful the two colors blend? So first things first, I will end up dipping, oh snap, I need the brush. So while the water is still getting hot, I'm going to get the brush, oops, oh my god, what is that, cancel, okay. Because the glue has already dried. Okay, water's boiling, we can turn it off. Pull the pot over here off the sink. Now, see? Barbie's hair is fully stuck in our head. It's not going anywhere. It's not coming out. Because people that do the knot, you know, they're doing all of those knots, I'm sorry, I ain't doing that. I've done it, and it takes forever. And secondly, those knots will come out, and your heifer will have ball spots. Period. Okay. Now, with the pot of water, I'm just going to quickly dip all the way around the hairline. Oh, pull it out. Because it's super hot. Cold water, get the cold water. Get cold, 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 cold. Okay. 
So I did that part now. I'm going to look this up. And dear God, please do not let this fall on me trying to do a video. I want to shrink her head. So I'm going to put this part into the hot water. Yep, like that. And this will also let the water cool off a little bit. There we go. See, the hole is shrinking. Did it. Yep, shrunk it right on up to a little bitty hole. It looks bigger on camera than what it really is. Oh, okay, I need her body. So that would be easier for dipping her head. Now we don't need glasses on. Oh, take her necklace off. Wait, I gotta untie all of this. Jeez. Which is fine because the water is super hot and I don't want it to damage the saran hair. Honey, her dress is homemade. I still got fabric left from this. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, she fits perfectly. So now let me see. And it made her look a lot thinner, didn't it? But it just, Miss Thing got some hair. Okay, so now you can see I'm dipping around the hairline. The reason why is sort of shrink those holes. Now I'm looking. Oh, yeah, 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 that's working. Double check. Yeah, shrinking them up. It's shrinking the holes where I made new holes for her forehead because it was she had a big forehead. So I'm basically doing the front part of the face into the water around the hairline there. Her earrings apparently are oh oh shoot. Wait, let me double check that. Oh, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Earrings are fine. I'm double checking around the hairline. See? See where it shrunk the holes around her hairline? I don't know if you can tell. But for those of you who've been on here for me for like a long, long time for this full reroute, you will be, you can see that the hot water shrunk the hairline, the holes that I did. So now it looks more like a natural um, type of hairline. And now I'm going to dip her whole hair into hot water and pull it out very quickly. And now I'm going to hit it with cold water. And the brush. Final nerves. What is that crap? Good. I hope it is a final nerves. I'm tired of you messaging me. Okay, so the hair is super sleek, super smooth, and this is saran hair. Yay! And so all of the holes that I made that were new around her um, new hairline across the front to shrink that forehead are now small. See the hair blend. Beautiful colors, 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 colors. Now I feel like her I feel like her neck needs to be a little more tighter. So you can see the inside. I'm going to dip the face so I can hold her hair up like this. And I'm going to put this into the hot water. So the hot water is around the front of our hairline again. And it's getting into the neck area of the doll's head. 
I don't have a choice but to get the earrings in there too. And I'm looking and I'm praying they're not going to get damaged. So far that looks good. Okay. Oh yeah, that cold enough. Oh wow, the hole shrunk perfectly. Yep, 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 yep. Now I'm just going to do a quick cold vent. There. I don't even have a towel. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm not going to add conditioner at all. Um, it's fine. I can use spray pop. As you can see, her hair looks fine. It looks good. I'm not going to do curls either. I'm just going to play with it a little bit because it still feels hot. I can still feel heat. I just wanted to make sure that that got shrunk. So when I put her head back on her body, there's not going to be a problem. Earrings look great. Mm. Hold on. Give me a minute. I'm going to the bathroom and dry this up. Put her head on and show you a close-up of her hairline. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now put her head on. Oh yeah, nice, that's definitely tighter. Cool. Oh, let me go ahead and empty this hot water out. Put that back, grab her dress, grab her brush, and the doll. Oh, and now we're going to natural lighting. <laughs> Isn't this just everyone's best friend? Where's this water dripping from? The doll or the brush? Okay, let me get my little... Let me turn the camera around. Okay. So here's Barbie. As you know, this is a brand new hairline. I had to give her... They gave her a very, very big forehead. So I had to give her a new hairline. After dipping in hot water, it shrunk the holes. The new ones that I made. So that way it looks more factory done. And there we have it. Crystal Barbie has got a full revert and she looks so much prettier. Um, I used two different colors of hair. There's Dixie. Thank you, Dixie. We just really had to see you pop that rumpus in the air. Um, I use, again, Snow White and Platinum Blonde Hair. These are two different shades. See how well they work together? Come on. If y'all like this video, if you found it educational and interesting, what have you, give it a thumbs up, please. And feel free to leave comments. Good ones, por favor. I mean, good comments, please. Comentarios positivas. So see her earrings are well intact. Everything looks good. Um, the back of Crystal Barbie's original hairline, as you can see, was already perfect. See? I mean, she already had a perfect hairline in the back. Um, I did give her, starting there, a new hairline. Come on, get clear. Like that. Okay. So, so there we go, Crystal Barbie. Now we need to style her hair and make her look fabulous. Yay, now see, that was her hair before. No, there was nothing wrong with it, but as you can see, it was very yellowy. Um, and to me, it was too short. I can't, I can't play with that. I can play with this. Now, this is what I call deluxe crystal Barbie. Um, hair is everything. She looks brand new. I mean, this, this she was in, in our FB. And I took her out. But she's a rare version. Very natural looking lip color. Um, the arched eyebrows. 
Because this is her natural paint. This is her factory paint, actually. It's very factory painted. Um, and, you know, this is in natural light. And you can see the two-tone colors. And it's going to look amazing when it dries. So, that's how long it took me to reroute her. Her head is fully articulated like it usually is. So you can see. There. Awesome. I like that. Now, if you're wondering how long her hair is, there it is. Pretty much to her feet. Yep, and this was large. I used Snow White Large, Cat Silk Hair, and Platinum Blonde. So with it folded, the way I rooted it, my routine, that's how it does it. So, yay! So thank you for watching. Thank all of you for staying with me. I can throw that away if I can fit it into the trash can. Um, here, let's zoom in. And you see all of this long hair. Yeah, as I wanted it, a little bit darker blonde mixed in toward the bottom, more platinum at the top, but it was an excellent, excellent mixture that worked very well for this particular Barbie doll. Well, it'll work good for any of the 80s Barbies. Any of these 80s Barbies, that works great because that's how they root them. The only thing is, I gave her her hair and a lot more. So I plan on probably doing like a part of a ponytail that comes up. A little looseness to it, similar to her original. And having it that way. So, yeah. That Snow White looks really good with the Platinum Blonde. I'm proud of my work. It took me long enough to do it. Now I need to eat something. So yeah. No, I'm not cutting her hair. Her hair is going to stay long. I am going to trim to make it a little more evenly done. Not even, but layered at the ends. So, yeah. Yep, can't wait to show you how she's done. So put a dress back on and I'm going to play with this hair first. Cool, yay. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it gorgeous? Thank you, thank you all for the comments. Thank you for the positivity. Well, I I do I I like to reboot Barbie with the hair that was originally used with her, such as the Saran hair. Um, as you see, as her hair is already drying, it's getting lighter. Um, crystal hair, I mean crystal hair. Crystal Barbie had that very white blonde hair, the iridescent dress, um, but I made this one for her. I don't know. I gotta play with her hair soon. Okay. Um, oh, everyone, I'm so sorry. I have to go. I'm getting dressed. My mom called. I have to go to the office and sign a paper. They're saying that there's something in the apartment that smells like mildew. They're telling, so they need someone to come and check the mattresses. So I have, um, I'm, God, I'm, thank God no one can see me. But I tell you what, I'll set it up. You can look at Barbie up close at her hairline. Okay, there she is. So I'm going to the apartment now. I have to sign papers not to check because they said something smells like um, this. I don't know how many inches this is done. You have to watch the video from the beginning to get an idea. But there's my Crystal Barbie. One of my Crystal Barbies has been rebooted. My third one, actually. So yeah, the hot water shrinks the um, holes. I had to give her a new hairline. Her forehead was way too big. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.